Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is going to be for new players, but if you are a player who has been here for a while and you want to learn a few tips and tricks, well, stick around. I may actually surprise you. I, got, I have here a couple of tips and tricks for the items in this store uh, and also uh, explain which items are best for you. By explaining each individual item, I'm possibly going to be giving you the idea of which items to buy independently of which character you're using. So, let's go into it. Before we start, I just want you guys to know that the item store can only be open in the spawn area while playing Siege and Onslaught, alright? In Siege, if you do capture the point, if your team captures the point, you get 300 extra credits. You always start only with 400 credits, right? And if you pay attention in the store, the most expensive item here is 400 credits. So you can buy this. At least you can always buy one item. At least for sure, each all of these items you can buy at least once in the beginning of each individual match. And uh, at Team Death Match, I forgot to mention, you can open it pretty much anywhere at any time, whenever you want, right? In order to gain the credits, as I mentioned, you can always, uh, always capture the point. You get 300 credits, you and every single member of your team. But only capturing the point. Beyond that, you just play the game. You just do everything normal. You heal, you do damage, you absorb damage, uh, you know, you stay alive. For the more things that you do, the more credits you'll get. And then you can buy items. Now, the orders, the rules of this item shop is that you can only buy up to four different items for this entire category, like this entire item store. It doesn't matter which colors you're buying. In the old days, you could only buy one item of each color. Now you can buy one i like four items of the same color if you want to all right so having that done um each item will also have three different levels as you can see here tier one tier two three three tier three and when leveling them up you're basically like improving the effect of that item all right little heads up after you buy an item you cannot take it back so let's go right into the items i'm gonna stop off i'm gonna start off from here and then we go and wake our way way we're gonna work our way all the way down to Wrecker, okay? So, Eliminate is pretty simple. Any enemy that can basically go invisible, you can see them at a longer, a wider range from them. So, if you master this to the maximum, you're gonna be able to see that incoming Sky, Strix, Shaoling, even Ceres when she goes in Shadow Walk. Uh, you're gonna be able to see them a lot sooner than the necessary distance they need to get, get really close to you to destroy you or something like that. Or if they're running away, you can also spot them. So there you have it. Eliminate really easy. Uh, really actually cheap. So I advise you to get this when there's an enemy sky, possibly. It's mostly skies, but still, you can always get this uh, for other champions like Strix, Shaoling, and Ceres. Now, Resilience. Resilience is possibly one of the best items in the entire store. Why? Because it reduces the effects of flows, stuns, uh, transformations, you know, if they transform you to a chicken, a cookie, or anything like that, uh, the Atlas ability to rewind you, because it's still considered a crowd control, or even the one where it locks you, the ultimate, and here's one that not a lot of people know about this, but it also reduces the distance that people can knock you off. So, for example, right now I'm with Ash, right? And Ash has two ways of knocking people up, or back, sorry. So this will knock people back, right? If I get close to a person, I will knock people back. I can try to knock people out of the map, but with if you get resilience to the maximum, you will only have 90%, it's not completely immunity, but you will be able to not be pushed out of the map. It's, like, it's almost like you're not even going to push people, like, maybe one meter, that's it. All right, it's really, really good. Um, I advise you to get this when people are trying to knock people out of the map. This is also considered knockback, as you can see there. And her ult also stuns people. Uh, so, yeah, this example right here I'm about to do. So, you're seeing that they're stunned. It would also reduce the time where you're being stunned. So, there you have it. Resilience, really, really good. There's only a few champions in the entire game that can actually have immunity completely. Which is, for example, like Makoa on his ult with uh, Leviathan. You got Inara with um, the Mother's Grace talent, if I'm not mistaken. The Totem with immunity, with CC immunity from Grok. You know, stuff like that. That will completely shut down 
these abilities like stun slows and everything. Like it won't even work. All right. So there you have it. Blast shields and havens. I'm gonna group up these two because um, they're actually connected. They're both to do the exact same objective. They're both to do the exact same thing. But one is for one type of damage and the other one is for another type of damage. This one is for AOE, area of effect. So bombs, grenades, anything that explodes and hits multiple people. Not It doesn't even need to explode. Just something that can hit multiple people at the exact same time. It actually will reduce that damage. This item. But if we're talking about like damage that can only hit one person at a time. Like for example, the shots from Victor, Tyra, Vivian, Talus. You know, those normal projectiles from their weapon that can only hit one person at a time. Well, this is going to reduce that damage. It can go up to 21% as you can see there. And let me just show you a perfect example of a champion that can actually do area damage and the normal direct damage as well. So, boom, boom, to be more precise, to be a little bit more exact. This here is actually countered by blast shields because it can hit multiple people at the same time. But this is with the other item, the Haven. All right, and when you have a full mark on somebody and you're going to hit with this, it's still the Haven because you're dealing that 1000 damage to that person specifically. But if you're using Boom Boom and you hit some other people around that initial star target, like you're going to hit that person over there, but you, with the explosion of the Boom Boom, you're going to hit those two people over there as well. These two, you know, if you're a person who's only going to be caught in the blast, Yes, blast shields will protect you from that. But if you're the person who's going to be triggering the blast, then yes, Haven is the one who's going to help you. So there you have it, defensive items, really simple to understand. Anything that can only hit one person at a time, that's pretty much it. Anything that can hit multiple people, as you can see here, it is with the blast shields. Now let's go into the yellow items. Master writing is pretty simple. And Onslaught and, on, and in Siege, you'll be able to ride a horse, right? So. While riding the horse, if you buy this item, you'll go faster. So if you have to get faster to the point or to the payload, this will help you a lot. Morale boost. Pretty simple to understand. You get your ultimate faster while dealing damage and so on. Okay, so if you're dealing damage and you're getting your ultimate really fast, this is even going to make it faster. So to get your ultimate, if it's really necessary for your team, to you to get your ultimate, possibly get this item. Nimble is the same thing as master riding, but instead of being on top of the horse, it's outside of the horse. Your normal movement will be a lot faster, so you'll walk faster. Simple. Chronos. It will reduce the cooldown of all your abilities, but there is a thing that I have to say. It will not reduce anything related to your weapon because your weapon has ammo. And it will not reduce like ultimates because ultimates are a chargeable item, not a cooldown item. And there's, you know, there's exceptions. Like, for example, our boy Koga here... He doesn't even have the ability to buy the Kronos, as you can see, because his abilities are from energy. When you use the abilities, you'll consume these little bars that are down there, and this has to charge on its own. Kronos will not help this at all. Like, legit. Nothing at all. There are certain champions that Kronos will not even do almost any difference, so do pay attention to that. Mostly, Kronos is used by healers because they want to heal faster and more often. So possibly, yeah, if you're playing a healer, Kronos may be the thing for you. So try to see which champions have a bigger cooldown on abilities so you can take the most advantage out of this item. Kill to heal. Now, they're, kill to heal and life rip. I like these two items because these on the green part, these are the two most outused, followed by rejuvenate and then finally veteran. But to be honest, between life rip and kill to heal, kill to heal is the, your main to go with anything. I mean, there's a couple of options. Life Rip will help you a lot, but let me explain. Kill to Heal will get you health when you kill somebody. It doesn't matter if you killed them with a grenade. It doesn't matter if you were shooting them and they killed themselves in the end by like like a bomb in the ground. It doesn't matter if it was your teammates who killed them. You got an assist. It doesn't matter. It will get you health by killing that person. And here's the good thing. If you're playing a healer and you're healing somebody at the same time that that person kills another enemy, you will also be receiving health because it's considered an assist. It's like you assisted that person to kill the enemy. So therefore you're going to get health. This one for healers, it's perfect. Life Rip, on the other hand, it actually only gets you health when using your weapon shots. So it has to be like this. 
your weapon shots, not side abilities that deal damage, your weapon shots, right? You will gain health based on, like, depending on the level, of course. Like, for example, you can go up to 30%. You'll gain 30% life steal. It will steal away 30% of the damage you're dealing as health back to you. But here's the thing. This item, Cauterize, can shut down both this one and this one. This acts up for 1.5 seconds. So if you're killing somebody, but you're being cauterized, the health will not, you know, you'll not receive it. And Life Ripple will happen the same thing. You're trying to get health back, but you're being cauterized at the same time. Well, guess what? You're not being healed. Um, a little heads up as well. There's one champion in this entire game that actually has already 30% lifesteal, which is Tyra. Tyra already actually has lifesteal on her weapon. So I'm going to show it to you really quick. I'm not going to buy any item and notice that when I shoot, you see that little icon of Tyra on my left side on the screen? That's because it's life stealing. There was a talent this was actually a talent for her, but they decided to make it part of her base kit. So when buying items, I don't advise you to buy this because it caps maximum at 60% and usually there's something called diminishing returns. So I'm not entirely sure if it applies to here, but diminishing returns is like you already have 30% of something. When adding extra percentage, it's not going to be the rest of the percentage missing. Like, you already have 30%, so now you have 70% that you can add. No, it doesn't act like that. The 70% now, the new 70% that are being, you know, still left out, that's going to become 100%. And the new percentage you're adding to that it will be to those 100%. Not the 70%. It's really confusing. I can try to make a video on it, um, maybe in the future. But all you need to know is that most of these things get capped. Like, you cannot get, like, 100% damage reduction or 100% cauterize. You can get resilience, like CC control immunity, sure. But that's only for certain abilities and talents. But there's things that, like speed. You cannot get, like, 200% speed. It doesn't act like that. There's diminishing returns, and we can talk about that in the future again. Rejuvenate is really simple. It only acts up on healing you're receiving from other people. So if somebody is healing you, you'll get more healing. But if you're trying to heal yourself, this does not do anything. Again, Cauterize can still stop this, remember. Veteran, it will actually allow you to get your health back faster when you're out of combat. So for example, let me see. If we we actually need to take damage, but basically, when you you don't have your full health and you were fighting, you stop shooting and you try to hide on a corner. You'll notice that you'll get your health back after a few seconds because that's the out of combat mode. So right now I'm going to show you pretty simple. I'm going to take damage here. There we go. And now notice that little green bar underneath my health. It's going down, 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 down. And now we're out of combat and it healed me. What this item does, it actually makes you have that entire health back faster. So this is really good for tanks, and especially when there's not a good healer or there's no healer at all. So just try to hide, get your health back, and go back in the fight. There you go. Now into the offense items, the red items, possibly the most dangerous items in the game. The first item is Bulldozer and allows you to destroy deployables faster. Deployables like, for example, the turrets of Beric, the, the totem of... Brock, the clones of Ying, the dragon from the Ult of Imani. You can destroy that dragon faster with this, okay? And you can also destroy the mines from Kinesa and the little sensor drones from Vivian. But Vivian, when she uses her ultimate, you'll notice that she has two little drones on top of her head. You can destroy those faster as well because those are deployables. So if you do manage to hit them with this item, you'll do destroy them a lot faster. So... Death Hands, it basically makes you reload faster. This has nothing to do with abilities. It only has to do with ammo. So if you have some sort of a champion that does not have reload like a Maeve or a Shaoling, this is not going to act there. It only acts on people who have reloading. You know, they have to reload. Car Rise and Wrecker are possibly the, the best items in the game. The most offensive items in the game, to be honest. Car Rise stops healing and Wrecker destroys shields. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but there's rules to it. Call rides, for example, it will only stop healing when you're hitting the person for 1.5 seconds, but with your main weapon. It has to be with your main weapon. It, so if you're playing Victor and you're trying to call rise somebody with a grenade, it's not going to do anything. It has to be with your main weapon, all right? Same thing goes for Wrecker. You have to hit them with your weapon shots. You see here, your weapon attacks. 
not your sight abilities, but there are things here that actually uh, have this like exception rule. Like for example, if you're using Leon, Leon on the other hand, her abilities for some reason, since they all come from, you know, they all come from the weapon, it actually all of them apply cauterize. So I'm gonna show you how you know you're cauterizing somebody. So if I shoot this person right now, it doesn't do anything. You saw that. It does this like this blood effect, that's it. But if I buy cauterize, you see this little cloud? This is what it represents the cauterize. This is how you know you're cauterizing somebody. But here's the thing. If I use my main weapon, I'm cauterizing. You can see there the effect. If I use the right click, I'm cauterizing. You can see them all the, all the way in the back as well, uh, as well there. If I use the Q, I'm cauterizing. And if I use the dash, I'm cauterizing as well. Now, I'm not sure about the ultimate. I think not. Yeah, the ultimate does not apply cauterize. But so you can have an idea. Certain champions will have this exception rule like Leon. Grokwit is uh, like this chalk pulse and so on. Like there's only a few effect, uh, you know, only a few champions with this, but it has to be with your main weapon. So if it's something that comes out of your weapon, it's possibly ca uh, cauterizing people, but it will last only 1.5 seconds. So if you can keep, you know, shooting people, it will continue to apply the cauterize, as you can see there. And this person, if I have cauterize three, 90% means that they will never be able to heal themselves back. And now we'll make sure that I'm going to kill this person. So, in order to not die to cauterize, I advise you to hide. Run away, hide, get your health back, and then go back in. It's only 1.5 seconds. So, there it is. You can see it. Now, a record's a little bit different. It doesn't have any time. It just deals damage, more damage. But it's with your main weapon. As long as you're dealing damage to a shield, and with this item, you're going to be able to deal more damage. So, for example, just one final example so we can end the video here. Dredge has I had this idea that I thought that the harpoons could deal more damage with the wrecker, but they cannot because this is not a weapon ability. This is a weapon ability, and this is a weapon ability as well. All right, so only these two can apply wrecker or cauterize. All right, so let me just show you that that the right click also applies cauterize. But there you have it, it's playing cauterize. So, anything that comes out of your weapon, it's going to apply cauterize and possibly records. So, yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much it for the items. If there's any sort of a doubt you have, you guys have about, about any of these items, just let me know down in the comments below. Again, a couple of tricks that possibly not a lot of people knew. Uh, resilience also stops knockbacks. Uh, you know, rejuvenate only uh, helps you get more health from other people, not from you. Cauterize does stop these all of these items. It doesn't matter if you're using Kill to Heal or Life Rip. Uh, Wrecker and Cauterize will only be apply applyable by your main shots from your weapon. Death Hands only acts on reloadable weapons. And Kronos only acts on cooldown abilities and not energy abilities or even the ultimate. So that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I did miss anything, again, let me know down in the comments below. If you're somebody who has been playing this game for a while and you possibly didn't know anything, you know, some of the things I just said here, let me know down in the comments below. Like, we're always learning. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye, guys.